my name is Emily Day and I am a third year graduate student in Dr. Jennifer West's lab here at Rice University. And specifically, I work on using nanoshells, a type of nanoparticle for cancer therapy. So I work with nanoshells and these are a type of nanoparticle that have a spherical dielectric core surrounded by a thin gold shell. And these particles are good for cancer therapy because we can tune them to absorb light in the near infrared. This is a desirable property to have because in that region of light, light will penetrate deeply into tissue and so we can reach um, deeper tumors that are underneath the skin. When we make nanoshells, it, it goes through a four-step process. So first, we have to make the silica core and it looks like this sort of milky, whitish colored material. The next thing we do is we coat these particles with gold particles and so to do that we make the gold solution. Basically we take these two and mix them together and that gives us what we call a seed particle which is this more light brown pinkish sort of color. And then the last thing we do is we add more gold to the surface and that results in the final nanoshell product which is this nice pretty uh, teal green color. This is the product that we would actually mix with the cancer and expose to light and it would absorb the light and convert it to heat. So now I'm going to do a demonstration that shows a little bit more about how the nanoshells actually can be used for cancer therapy. Before the solution that I showed you was really light and pretty teal color but now you can see it's much uh, much more viscous, much thicker, and much darker in color because there's a lot more particles per mil uh, in this little solution here. I'm going to use a piece of chicken to demonstrate how the nanoshell therapy works. So this chicken we're going to pretend is my tumor. And so uh, this is my laser setup that I have here. And this laser is tuned to um, 800 nanometers is the wavelength of light that it emits. First what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the laser and we'll let it run for 30 seconds or so and you'll see that nothing is going to happen to the tissue. This wavelength of light is completely harmless all on its own. What you'll see here is actually much hotter than what we would actually let happen in people. You're not actually going to start cooking people to the point where they're smoking. But um, it, it demonstrates the idea of how nanoshell therapy works. So I'm going to go ahead and start my timer. And we'll let it run for 30 seconds. So once we've done that, I'll take this solution of nanoshell and I'll inject a little bit into the, into the tumor. And basically what's going to happen is I'll turn on the laser again and these particles are going to take that light and convert it into heat energy. And um, whenever it does that, what we'll see is that the tumor will start cooking and letting off smoke. Alright, it's been 30 seconds and nothing has really happened, so we're going to go ahead and turn this off. Um, I'm just going to take 50 microliters of nanoshell to inject into the, the chicken tumor. So I'm just going to sort of insert right under the skin, we'll call it. A little bit dribbled out, but that's okay. Alright, we'll see how long it takes to start cooking. So now it's really starting to get going and there's a lot more smoke coming off. And it starts to smell quite lovely as well. <laughs> All right, it's been 45 seconds. So we killed our tumor.